Let A be an M by P matrix. We use A subscript I comma J to denote the IJ entry of A. That is, the entry in row I and column J of A. We now look at a quick way to get the IJ entry of a product without having first compute the entire product. So let B be a P by N matrix. And we'll let Q denote the product AB. And we are interested in finding the IJ entry of Q. First of all, row I of Q is given by AI times B, where AI denotes the ith row of A. So if A is my matrix here, and B is my matrix here, then the ith row of this product is obtained by taking row I multiplied by B. For example, if A is this matrix here, and B is this matrix, then the second row of AB is given by, so the second row of A is 0, 3, and you take the product of that with B. The first column is going to be 0 times minus 1 plus 3 times 0, and that's just 0. And in the second column, we have 0 times 1 plus 3 times 3, and that's 9. So this is the i row of Q. But if you want to look at the ij entry, what you want to do is look at ai times the jth column of b. And so qij is given by ai times bj, where bj here denotes the jth column of b. And if you write this out in terms of entries of a and b, you get this, ai1 times b1j plus AI2 times B2J, and so on, up to AIP times BPJ. So for example, the 3 to entry of the product AB here will be given by 4, 0 times 1, 3, and that's just 4. Now that we can easily extract the ij entry of a product, we can show that matrix multiplication is associative. Suppose we have three matrices. A is m by p, b is p by q, and c is q by n. Then, what you can show is, if you take the product of A with the product of bc, it's the same as taking the product of the product A, B, and C. In other words, the order in which you perform matrix multiplication does not matter, and we know that numbers behave this way. The proof of this is rather tedious, but it doesn't require too much insight. So I'm going to leave the details as an exercise. But there's one very important point that needs to be made, is that in general, A, B does not necessarily equal B, A. First of all, the dimensions of the matrices might not allow you to form the product BA. For example, if A is the matrix 1, 4, and B is the matrix 2, 3, 1, 0, 1, 2, you can form the product AB, but you cannot form the product BA. And therefore, matrix multiplication is not commutative. That's one thing that is very different from numbers.